Hey there guys, Tiny Texter here, Cheap Tattooing. Just wanted to give you guys a holler, let you know that I'm still kicking here. Um, let you know I got a couple new machines, and uh, since I've done my last video, I've probably done about 60 or 70 tattoos. Um, I've also got a new machine uh, right here. It's a new liner that I got. Uh, a friend sent it to me. Uh, told me to try it out. Um, it was excellent. Um, I had to grind down the... I had to take a Dremel and grind down the rear spring and slide it back further so that I could get the spring in the the tension in the spring that I needed so that uh, I could get it to line good. Um, here, I'll let you listen to it once. Um, that's at uh, five and a half volts. So it lines really good. Um, I've gotten a lot better at tuning the machines and uh, keeping them up to date and everything. Um, here's my other machine that I had uh, special made. Um, I finally got it tuned out. I had to do the same thing on this one here and grind the spring back so that I could slide it back so that it was over the over the hole so that it was in perfect line because it hasn't been it wasn't in line with it it was uh, let's see here if I can get this turn right here it wasn't in line with it it was all way out ahead of it it was it was all messed up but that's how it sounds um, it sounds a little bit loud right now that's at the five and a half volts also it sounds kind of loud because it echoes because it's a solid it's a solid piece here there's no there's no breaks or nothing in it, it's just solid, so it, it echoes. <laughs> but anyway, um, I went through and did that with a lot of my machines on them. I ground down, I went through with the Dremel and ground the springs so that I could slide them back so that it was over the hole. So the needles drop down straight, and once I ground that down, it was also over top of the coils in the right position, correctly. So <laughs> that makes a big difference when you're tuning a machine, and I learned that from. Uh, there was a Robert Landis that left me a comment on some of my uh, videos and I also learned it from watching Sim City Tattoos videos online on YouTube they're pretty good they, that guy's pretty informative um, I don't know I just like his videos he does a pretty good job um, mine aren't the greatest. I mean, I try to help you guys out as best I can with what I can. I also got a uh, couple comments from Martin Tully75. Hey, thanks for the comments, guy. I appreciate them. Um, I'll try to help out as much as I can with what I can. Um, yeah, some of my videos, they're pretty silly. They was a while ago, and yeah, I still keep them up there. And yeah, 
right now I look like hell. I haven't, I haven't shaved in a while or anything, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> but I'm going to be putting up some new videos on uh, tuning out, on tuning the machines, on tuning them, taking them apart, redoing them all. How to, I'm going to be doing some new tattoo videos start to finish on how to set up the liners, needle depth, needle depth, um, how to set your needles in there, how to adjust your needles, how to how to do your shading, everything like that, and hopefully you guys will like it. Um, I will let you guys know. Um, thanks a lot for now.